Hello everyone, this is Dr. Jay Mehta here from Mumbai and in this video, we are going to be discussing about urge urine incontinence. See, in our previous videos, we've already described what is incontinence and what are the various subtypes of incontinence. And in that, we told that the commonest type of incontinence in our country, in India, is urge urinary incontinence. By now, we all know that when I talk of incontinence, that means there is involuntary passage of urine. So, a lady is not able to hold on to her ability to hold urine. What typically happens in urge is that when a lady gets the urge to pass urine, okay, even before she reaches the washroom, there is an involuntary leakage of this urine. This doesn't happen with anybody else who is normal. When somebody wants to pass urine, they get the urge, they walk to the washroom, they pass urine. But in this problem, the disease is such that even before the lady reaches the washroom, there is an involuntary passage of urine. And remember, this is extremely common in our country. The most common cause of urge incontinence is postmenopausal women due to severe lack of estrogen. Remember, in women who have stopped menstruating, especially women who are more than age of 50, the hormone estrogen suddenly reduces, the levels of hormone estrogen suddenly reduces. As a result of this, they experience a lot of postmenopausal changes. You know, they have hot flushes, they get angry, a lot of other things. Because of lack of estrogen, the bladder lining or the covering of the bladder, it weakens. And because it weakens, it enhances or it tends to develop something called as urge incontinence in these women. The second thing which everyone must remember is that in our country, the second most common cause is diabetes. We all know how common it is in our country to have diabetes. But normally, we tend to associate diabetes just with sugar values or just with pancreas. But remember, uncontrolled diabetes, heavy diabetes, all these things can also affect the blood vessels. They can also affect the nerve supply to the bladder. And because of this, typically, women develop urge incontinence as the bladder does not have enough strength in the vasculature or in the nerves to control that urine. Apart from that, a very common cause is urinary tract infections. We all know that not everywhere in our country we have up-to-date genital hygiene, nor do we have very good facilities for passage of urine or for passage of stools in the form of common public toilets in our country. As a result of which, a lot of women develop urinary tract infections, which is a very important predisposing factor for developing urge incontinence. And the fourth cause, which is very common, is a social cause. If you look at women in our society, they normally tend to consume very limited water. Once they develop urge incontinence, they always believe that the urge has developed because of their excessive water drinking. As a result of this, they tend to reduce their water intake even further, which predisposes to urinary tract infections, which is detrimental. So that is one of the most important causes in our day-to-day -day population due to which they have temporary urge incontinence. Apart from this, there are various other neurological causes, muscular causes and other important causes which are beyond the scope of this video. Before I try to conclude this entire video, let me tell you that in this video, I'm going to focus only on the causative factors of urge incontinence and in my next video, I'm going to try and focus on the medical management as well as the therapeutic aspects which we should consider on urge incontinence. But before I conclude, I wanted to state that urge incontinence is extremely common in our population. It is a very, very socially distressing condition. Remember, when somebody has urge incontinence, they don't want to go out for weddings. They don't want to go out for a vacation. They don't want to go out for a long drive. You know why? Because they are very scared. They are scared that if they step out of the house and if there is an urge to pass urine, she might not be able to control it. Or she might pass urine in the car. She might have to wear a diaper. And as a result of this, it becomes very socially depriving. If there is a lady who is watching this video and having this problem, 
or if there is a family member we strongly encourage you to discuss it with your family discuss it with your family doctors if you wish to and i'm sure they will guide you to the appropriate doctors so that you get treated correctly thank you so much for having a patient hearing through this video